Um, all right, number six, red numbers three and 40. Yeah, yeah, the red food going, the artificial red food going bad. Again, pretty much illegal in Europe because if you use them in Europe, you have to put a warning label on your product that says this may contain... It contains red 40, may cause health problems. It may cause health problems. That's you have to put say. the label on there. Yeah. Great. So nobody uses it because that's not really something that's attractive to yeah. buying. Right. So people use red beet juice. Amazing. To, to color things, mm. which you should do, but they don't over here in America. And it, it cracks me up when I see athletes drinking, you know, Powerade or Gatorade yeah. that's red, full of this stuff, because those guys are trying to do the opposite. Mm. But it's in, it's in the finger paints, too. You know, a lot of people don't think about that with their children. Okay, yeah. They're sticking them on their skin. Out. Sometimes it's in uh, in different cosmetics. You know, people okay. are rubbing it on their Lipsticks skin. Lipsticks and blushes. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Yep. Okay. Even in soaps. One time I found it in bar soap. Wow. You have clothes like a pink too. soap. You yep. have it. Yep. Um, wow. So that's and this wacky. is, what was, I can't remember the exact uh, thing about it, but you said something like the amount of food that has... Um, no artificial colors. It's, yeah, it's they did like a study. 80 plus percent. Like. 80, oh yeah. Um, in one gro grocery store, 40% of all food items were found to contain red number four, 40. Just well, the red one. Yep. 40%. 40% uh, of all food items. like. And then 78 of the candy contained red dye. But right. I think overall. Yeah, there was a lot. I think overall, about 80% of foods in the grocery store contained a artificial red uh, artificial coloring but mm. the red one specifically right is in about 40 percent of foods i mean it's insane it's that's just crazy that is that's way too much <laughs> yeah like, yeah okay. <laughs> yeah uh, avoid yeah. red it's 40. pretty simple and it's not that hard to avoid you know if you're aware of it if you just look at it's labeled it's not yeah. it's in yeah. the ingredient list yeah red and, number 40 and hopefully you guys aren't eating a ton of processed foods i mean that's where you're really in danger if you're eating all these mashed up, artificially processed, hydrogenated, whatever foods. And it's weird because... Foods. Yeah. Yeah. You can put so much garbage into those things. Yeah. And normally you would never eat that much tofu or whatever, but you mm. put enough salt and enough MSG, enough of these artificial chemicals, and you don't even taste, or rotten meat, you know, like these processed meats. You can put all kinds of Ooh. weird garbage in there. Normally you would never eat that. No. But... When it's marketed cute yeah. and you're yeah. you're in the um, yeah and that's the other thing with not eating anything packaged in plastic, um, I'm able to avoid all of these things. Like it's just not even a question for me um, because the packaging is already against my ethics or my my attempt to be low impact or use. Like it's for me, it's just like, I don't know. I wouldn't know what bin to put it in. I don't know where I'd put that. I don't know where it's going to be sent. If it's going to be recycled, probably not. So instead of going that route, um, I'd prefer to try to make my own foods. And now that we learn all these crazy chemicals that are in all the plastic packaged foods, thank goodness, I'm just avoiding my exposure to those chemicals. Um, so that's another like motivator, hopefully to um, use less plastics, to eat food that's not packaged in plastics, to eat fresh whole foods, vegetables, um, produce, and then you're just like, you're less likely to be exposed to chemicals that are going to harm you and future generations. Like, that's so hectic. <laughs>